Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What are you looking at today? Lexmoto's XTRS125. 11.4 brake horsepower, 11 litre tank, 5 speed, air cooled. Um, they're rip offs. Okay. The rip offs of the CBR125 Honda's legendary CBR. A lot more money though, the CBR's. 2004 plates, 14 year old bikes, look at 600 quid. This is a 2015 model, and you're looking about the same sort of money, 700 odd pound. So when you think of the difference there, but they are cheaper bikes to buy, and they do fall apart. You need to keep an eye on these little bikes. Anyway, I've got 400 odd videos on my channel now. Um, lots of videos to release. Done an old video recently. And I do get this, um, I get asked, Simple questions, and I, I try and answer them the best I can. Don't pretend I'm a mechanic, or don't pretend I, I'm a know-it-all. I've been doing it for some years now. Um, a guy said to me, you know, Mark, he, um, I've been using car oil in my uh, big bike now for a very long time, you know, um, 28 years of, of knowledge, and it's fine. And I agree, well done. I had uh, a CBF 1000, someone had used Magnatec oil in it. Um, and it rode fine until I got the first set of Jaffa lights and give it some, and I could, I was revved one up, and I weren't really going nowhere. Went to the garage and they all said, don't ever use car oil. And this was experts, you know, a lot of experts. So I've Googled it and information on it and they all say, don't do it. But if you are doing it and it's fine, job done. Me, I'm not going to promote it. Use bike oil for bikes, use car oil for cars. And I was really saying also, don't mix and match synthetic with mineral and different viscosities of it as well. Don't do that. But if you do, do it. Anyway, um, this isn't really this bad, this little one here. Um, it just needs a um, new clutch lever, brake lever, uh, oil change. I'm going to check the plug as well. I'm going to make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight. I've just done a little one recently of a bug, and uh, I thought that was all right, actually, and it turned out that it was a pile of dung, and I would have been really upset if it had gone out to someone who wanted to ride it and it turned out that it was pretty crap. Um, everything was loose and not done right. So realistically, if you're gonna buy a bike for yourself or whatever you wanna do, check it over, all right? That's my, my biggest thing I can say in there to you. Do check it over, make sure you're happy with it yourself. Um, one thing won't come out. <sighs> yeah, you know, do that. Now, I also recently on a video, I suppose it's a vlog in the shed, isn't it? of me doing my Jexas. I do love my Jexas. And again, I don't pretend that I'm a super mechanic. And I'm learning all the time, like we all do. Oh, hopefully you can see me a lot better. My new lens came. And uh, it's a slightly wider one, but we should be really, really clear on it now. And the sound in here is great. I've got my microphone. So uh, yeah, keep watching. Anyway, there's the clutch one. Again, brake lever. Now again, I've said on my other videos, I've got little bums on these. I said in my videos, always check first you get in the right part. I was just done with loads and loads of bloody parts in your shed and garage and whatever, and you'd be really peed off. And that is a lovely fit. Perfect, clutch will work properly now. The last time, the brake lever. I keep saying clutch, because I'm used to working on this side of the bike. Not when I'm over there. So that's why I kept saying clutch. It is the brake lever. Now, as I said, I don't pretend to be a super mechanic. Anyway, I don't pretend to be a super mechanic. If you're going to slate me, at least have the decency to uh, have loads of videos on your channel that help people or try to help people, and not just a zero, you know, new subscriber and you want to give it all that. Yeah. So I don't pretend to get it right. I don't pretend to be a super bloody mechanic. Rant of the day. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to what I like doing. Coming in my shed and enjoying myself. Fixing bikes and trying to help you guys get back on track, eh? This isn't going in. Anyway, let's move on. Get this in there. So in a minute. <laughs> my moan of the day, wasn't it, really? Also, I wanted to check out how much better this lens is. When I got the lens from China, about three quid, and I thought I'd have to buy a new Hero 4. Um, and the missus said, why don't you just buy the new lens and they were like 40 quid here. I think honestly it was about four pound plus posters and so on. And uh, that came within five days, which is amazing really. And um, 
yeah, it's much, much better. So that saved me a good couple hundred pounds. Right, let's get this bloody thing in. Now I have often said, don't be afraid of fitting something twice, you know, taking it off, testing it. This here, you can hear it, it's just not quite tight enough. And the one that was here has got this little bit here. So I'm gonna put that on this one. It's the checking over I keep saying, look, that should be up there. That's not there. Tape everywhere. Do you know, I'm gonna uh, take it off and glue it properly if not replace it. Just the little things sometimes you wanna check. And obviously, oil on this one, I'm gonna put some nice oil. Just an oil video recently, as I said. So I'm gonna put motorbike oil in this one. Guess what I'm saying, if you're not happy with something, don't leave it. You know, take it off, put it back on again properly. Same as when you're doing the carburetors, you know, don't do half a job. Because if you've got to take it off again, like the other day on that little bandit bug, you know, I did the carburetor, I thought it was all right, put it on, and it flooded out straight away. You know, um, you are going to have to take it off again, you're going to have to do it again. I often get people saying, I've cleaned it once and uh, it's still not doing it right. And that's why, because you've got to do it again. I see a bike for sale recently, and a guy said, uh, the float pin needs adjustment. I think you can't really adjust them, really. Especially on the old uh, Peugeot Speed Fights. It's just a little clip. And what happens is the top of the pin that goes on the carburetor, top shelf does this, and this goes on the pin. You can't replace it. You need a new carburetor or another part for a carburetor. Let's get on with this anyway. Now I always say about putting the tools back. Um, just an end to this little video bit. I realise when I'm chatting, I do go off topic. And I suppose it's because, go off topic now. <laughs> I'm in it here on my own, chatting to myself, a little camera, and no one answered back saying, get on with it, Marky, you know? So I apologise for going off track on this video. It's because I was actually got the arse. Um, and I shouldn't have, and I didn't want to make the video, and I didn't record the end bit, which you're gonna see in a minute. Anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? Sorry. Brake, not clutch. So I'm replacing the brake lever on this one. The brake lever. I said clutch earlier, and I took it out, hopefully. Anyway, brake, so it used to be over this side. Clutch is good as gold, brake one. That's a lot better. Good, so, nice and simple. It needs a bit of a valet as well. If you're gonna take stickers off, use a hairdryer, petrol them off afterwards and then clean. Do not just hack at it, like someone's done here with a screwdriver, now you've got scratches everywhere. But generally, they're not bad looking bikes, and I think this one in white actually looks quite nice. Do I put some decals all over it? No, I can't really, can I? I may put one or two on it, but it looks good in white. I mean, the other black one's got too many decals on it, you know, too many great big square stickers, I don't like that anyway. Um, anyway, keep saying it, let's get on with it. So for some of you more astute YouTubers, you may notice that this is not the same colour bike. And it is the black one that I was working on and got running nicely. Now this has been driving me mad. Some donkey faced snot nosed brr decided that the carburetors on here, the air petrol mix is literally underneath it. You know, not on the side, easy to get to underneath it. And then the panel here, this is solid goes all the way up here and blocks it completely in and it's completely, you just can't get to it. So the only way of getting to it is to take off the seat, then the other seat, and then get the petrol tank up and then get the petrol tank out of the way and then the airbox out and then the carburetor out. Oh, then to tune. Now, why is this not the same one earlier? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I finished the bike off made it look really pretty, got it running really well, and I did a video, and then I went indoors, and I didn't press play. I did moan a bit in the video, and I apologise, I seem to be whinging a lot lately, but it does get to you. A uh, video coming out about YouTube, um, how to start out, and you know, there was one on there, I forgot to mention that the more popular you get, the more people do watch your videos, and you get out there, the more people seem to criticise. I suppose that's what I was moaning at, really. Anyhow, this has got a sports exhaust on it and all the way up to the actual head. So it's quite big. So carburetor tuning can be a little bit harder. I don't know whether it's been upjetted or not. When I've cleaned the jet air, I can't tell. It's got no numbers on it. Um, I haven't Googled it yet because there's no sense because I didn't tell how big it is. So what this does now is I can get it running. She runs okay. 
right up and down the road. It does go well. It really, really does go well. I've got to say, it's still a 125, but that exhaust sounds really nice tone to it, and it does go well. However, I come out the next morning, and it's dead, 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 nothing. So I messed around with it three or four times and found the spark plug actually wasn't seating in properly. It's really quite hard to get hold of. So I had to use a spanner and then turn it round to get it right tight. Then it runs and it's just a little bit um, lumpy. So I've had it running and I've left it three hours now and I want to see whether it's start or not. So I'm going to open the shed door. I think it's like midnight outside and it's only 5.30. Who wants winter anyway? Right, let's give it a turnover. Tuning. Do you hear that little um, like miss when you open the throttle up? And it's like, um, um, and it's really running quite high. If I leave it running for longer, the revs go down. It's running about three or four thousand revs. They go down to one and a half thousand revs, and then you can f literally hit going, but, but struggling to stay alive. I took it out for a ride earlier. <sighs> Cold in, and um, it rode really well. Um, I did notice though on the cable where the where the um, adjust it goes to accelerate and close it was hitting on the adjustment screw so i pulled it right up adjusted it properly now it really opens up a lot and it does go but it's just lumpy and i'm just not impressed with it um so it's the same rig roll back seat front seat this up take two bits off pick it up petrol comes out suck it through again again and again and again and i've said this before you don't just do something once and then go it doesn't work and throw things around. Although I might do that myself occasionally. You really have to just keep persevering. Now, I've done this six turns out. Half turns out, it's so three full turns. And that's really the maximum setting. Um, I've gone in, down to four, down to three, down to two. And when I first got it, it was on one, and it was running like a bag of poo. So I've gone out to seven, and now it's running reasonably well. And I say, I just don't know if I've jetted it, and I just don't know if the exhaust is messing around. I'm guessing it is. If it's standard like the white one was, that ran lovely and you could sit and just watch it tick over. And after a run, it was perfect. And that smells rich. You know that rich sort of smell rather than a clean smell? That's what this is doing. And if you left it like it, spark plug, it will make that way black and it will get harder to start and so on. So, so it will come off again. I've tried to get my little hands in there and try it. There's just no way of getting to it whatsoever because of the design of this bike. Thanks, Lex Moto. Now I've got over 400 videos. You want to look at something, put Mark Savage in and then Lex Moto, 125, 50cc, carburetor, whatever you're going to add on to the end of it. And you should be able to watch all of the videos. Because if you uh, go onto my channel, it only shows 100. I mean, it's 400, that's lots. Anyway, stop chatting. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay with me, guys and girls.